higher. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a file in the IFS while using it to store information from our RPG programs in a very easy way, just using SQL. Also, I will show you how to retrieve this information. Um, okay, as always, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, so let's start it. Um, okay, and uh, the first thing I need to do is to connect to my IBMI. Okay, and um, okay, now uh, I'm going to create a new member, new search member. This is going to be named as test32, for example, test32. And uh, as I need to use SQL functions, uh, this is going to be an SQL RPG, okay? So, uh, okay. Uh, well, the first thing I have to 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 do is write in. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a free, a full free program, okay? And also, I'm going to uh, enable. Uh, enable the cycle. Oops. Okay. Okay, let's create the main procedure. Main and proc and. Well, okay. Um, uh, first, I mean. First of all, I need to tell the computer that I'm not going to use comic control. Uh, so um, let's put it here. Uh, set option commit equal oh, stone. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's define a text. Uh, I will store in this variable um, what, what text that I'm going to store in my file um, for example text equals adding a new line for example and I'm going to create uh, a procedure that is going to uh, be used to add the text to the, to the file, for example, text type. Add text. Um, okay. This is um, a little procedure uh, with one parameter, text, something in the same same type. Return. Okay, and uh, let's use um, a function, an SQL function called IFS Bright. I'm going to create a file in that is going to be uh, in this uh, folder. Test, for example, test. TXT. Um, I'm going to store the content of the variable, and I'm going to use this um, this um, option append because I want to add uh, the text to the file and. Um, I want to add every never to every line. I want to add CRLF uh, to know that the, the the line has finished. So um, now, if I call it this way, um, 
for example, and text hyphen text. This way, I will have uh, the text in my IFS file. Okay, so let's test it. I'm going to to compile it. Okay. Oops. Um, okay. Let's put here um, act group for example test thirty two. Okay. Now this. Okay. Now it is compiled. Let's uh, let's try to to work to to execute it. Test thirty two. Okay. Let's do it in a debug session. Test thirty two. Okay. Now let's stop it here and let's call it test thirty two. Okay. Let's enter into my procedure and this will call in to uh, the SQL function. Okay. And uh, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if the, uh, the file has been created. Test txt. Okay, so the file has been created. And well, the file was created before, so let's let's uh, remove it. Uh, okay, and let's call the program again. Okay, now let's open the file. Now, now it is created, and now the file has a new line added. Okay. So uh, now let's create the second procedure that is going to be used to retrieve the information that I have stored in my text file in the IFS. Uh, the functions is, well, the procedure is, is very similar, but I'm now going to use uh, other SQL function. In this case, I am going to use uh, the function IFS uh, read. So let's create a procedure. Uh, for example, read text IFS. And for example, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, retrieve one line. So this is going to be the first parameter and the text I'm going to retrieve, for example. And I'm going to call to my function, to the SQL function, okay. Select, uh, select line into my variable text from Table Q sys to IFS read uh, file that have been created before where line number equals line. Okay, so from table, this is uh, because a Q, QSYS IFS read creates uh, a table with the content of the file. And uh, with the select, I am retrieving just one line into my uh, variable. Okay, so uh, let's go to this um, procedure. For example, let's retrieve line number one, read text line and text 
Okay. And for example, let's display. Well, the text is uh, is too long, so well, let's see in a debug session. Okay. Let's compile it. Uh, okay. Fine. So, in, for example, let's compile it. I forgot to declare the variable. Okay. Now let's go to the um, IBMI. Let's start a new debug session. Test thirty-two, thirty-two of code. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to stop here, for example, and let's call the program called test32. Okay, so now I'm going to, well, text has this content, let's clear it, text, text equals length, and now I'm going to enter into the procedure um, and uh, let's execute this. Okay. Now let's see what's the content of text. Okay, it has worked. Fantastic. It is very cool. So, uh, so as you see, this is, um, as you see, uh, this is a very easy way for creating files in the IFS and storing all kind of information, for example, making a log file or something like that. Well, as always, if you like this video, please press thumbs up button and remember to follow the channel and you will get notified every time I make a new example video. Thanks for watching.